Hey there, Christian from Rackner here. In our last tutorial, we walked you through how easy it is to install EasyPanel on a fresh Ubuntu server. If you haven't watched that yet, I highly recommend you check it out first. And once you've got your EasyPanel set up and running, you'll be ready to dive into today's tutorial where we'll show you how to set up WordPress with EasyPanel. So whether you're building a blog, an e-commerce site, or a portfolio, WordPress is a versatile and popular platform. With EasyPanel, deploying WordPress becomes incredibly simple and efficient. Now, let me jump right into my screen here and let's get started with that tutorial. All right, the first step is to log into your EasyPanel dashboard. You can access it by navigating to the IP address or the domain name of your server with port 3000 in a web browser as mentioned in the previous EasyPanel installation video tutorial. Use the credentials you set up when installing EasyPanel to log in. Once you're in, you'll see the EasyPanel dashboard. Before you can set up your site, we need to create a new project by pressing the plus new button to do just that. Follow the on-screen instructions like name your project and proceed by pressing the create button. Here, click on the plus service button this will bring up a list of one-click apps that EasyPanel supports. Type WordPress in the search bar and click on it. Now EasyPanel will prompt you for some basic information. And all of this information is ready to go unless you want changes for the database name. But as a starter, I wouldn't recommend changing anything and just proceed by pressing the create button. EasyPanel will then prompt that WordPress was created successfully as you can see here. So hit this button to go to the project and hit deploy. EasyPanel will begin deploying WordPress on your server. This process usually takes a minute or two, so just sit tight. Once the deployment is complete, we're ready to set up our WordPress administration account. And as you can see, you have several options to control your WordPress application, such as stopping, restarting, etc. But let's go to the link or the open option to proceed. Click on it and it will take you to the WordPress setup page. Here you'll be asked to choose your preferred language for WordPress. After selecting the language, click continue. Next, you'll need to set up the WordPress admin account. Fill in the required details like your site title, admin username, password, and email. Make sure to save all of this information somewhere secure. You'll be needing it to log into the WordPress dashboard. When you're ready, click install WordPress. WordPress will finalize the setup and redirect you to the login page. Log in using the admin credentials you just created, and there you go. You now have a fully functioning WordPress website hosted on your EasyPanel server. And that's it, setting up WordPress with EasyPanel is really that simple. In just a few steps, you've got a powerful and flexible website ready to go. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to reach out to our support team available 24 seven to help. Plus, don't forget to check out Rackner.com for reliable hosting solutions and subscribe to Rackner TV for more tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching and talk soon.